hey there's O'Connor and you're probably wondering what we're doing here like I'm in a small flat and that's in a lot of Asian countries you're in Hong Kong here but notice that your Wi-Fi doesn't always work and they're trying to sell you these piggyback Wi-Fi's you put in another room and it makes the signal even stronger but before you do that this is what you should do now if you look right down the edge end of the room there my Wi-Fi is tucked let me show you let me just show you there it is it's tucked down here there's there's the Wi-Fi here okay so let's go up and do a speed test in the bedroom and so look here's the speed test and we're going to have a look at the speed test here all right so let's do our speed test we test again all right so notice that there's our speed test Okay, notice there's 60, 60 megabytes a second. That's running at a five, five gigabit signal coming out of, five gigahertz signal coming out of the Wi-Fi. And we've got 52, we've got 67, around 60. So that's megabytes per second uh, Wi-Fi signal coming out. Okay, so let's do something now. Let's just go down here. And we're just gonna move the Wi-Fi out to here, just move it out to the passage, maybe maybe just on the edge here, like on the edge there. So therefore, let's go down to the room now. Let's have a look. And you can see right down the end, there's the Wi-Fi, okay? Now let's do the test again and see the difference. Okay, there you go. All right, notice 90, look at that, there's a big difference there. Your 90 megabits per second download speed, and then we're doing the upload, and look at that. It's well over 70, 80. So there you have it, all right? Before you waste money on any of these piggyback Wi-Fi signals that go into different rooms, just get your Wi-Fi in the right position in the flat to begin with. There's O'Connor helping you the Wi-Fi in your house. Bye for now.